years ago and how much it's changed. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. people didn't have refrigeration in the village. If we were to have a meat dinner tonight, mm -hmm. which was unusual, mm -hmm. we'd go down a street and there's meat hanging there with bugs flying around mm -hmm. and we'd cut off a piece this big mm -hmm. and we'd take it back to the hooch and cook it because mm -hmm. that was our dinner that night. Wow. We, in other words, we bought, if we had money, mm -hmm. we bought what what we could eat that evening. That day, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. No public bathing. Okay. Uh, to take a bath in Korea, mm -hmm. you either sponge bath, every hooch had a pansu, mm -hmm. and GIs in their infinite use of the language called it a banjo. Mm -hmm. It's a bathroom. Right, right. So they're big on brushing their teeth, mm -hmm. Koreans, brush your teeth a lot. Mm -hmm. Bathing, not too much. Mm -hmm. And the, the pansu is a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. and, and they had a guy actually come around and empty it out. And he was called the Honey Bucket Man. <laughs> okay. Uh, and he had two five-gallon cans on a yoke. Mm -hmm. He'd empty out the pansu. Mm -hmm. He'd pour it in a thing like a good humor cart. Mm -hmm. He'd pour it in that. And you didn't want to walk behind him mm -hmm. or anywhere near him. Mm -hmm. Right. And he'd go out to the fields and he'd dump it on the rice. So in August, when it's 100 degrees in Korea and the wind's blowing in off the rice fields, <laughs> it really smelled good. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, Koreans, uh, I, I said, well, Mickey, what do you do for a bath? Mm -hmm. You know, I said, GIs, we take a bath every day, take a shower every day. So we have baths. Mm -hmm. So we go to a public bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Men, women, children, you drop the linen and you just clean yourself. And if you have money, you go in the back and you jump in a square hole filled with water and somebody will wash you mm -hmm. if you have money. I thought that was cool. Yeah. yeah, that was good. But that's the way the Koreans lived in the village. Okay. And it was nice to... Mm -hmm. Be like them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were good people, hard-working people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sleeping giant. I, I said it 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. I said these Koreans. And we had a derogatory term. We called them gooks. Mm -hmm. uh, Hanguk mm -hmm. is a Korean word for Korea. Okay. Hanguk. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's actually a tire out called Hanguk. It means Korea. But GIs took the term, and actually, we didn't invent it. Apparently, the the Japanese theater. You know, they call Japanese gooks, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure it means something derogatory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we used it just as a term. Mm -hmm. But we didn't use it with somebody we knew. Sure. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but uh, they were good people. But but we we often said, a few of us, and I, I saw it, I said, Jesus, I hope these people never get, like, electrical power or something. Or, mm -hmm. So these people are awesome. Yeah. 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 If they had resources, mm -hmm. and which they didn't have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But look what they've done. Yeah. The commands done. Yeah. Okay. Um, getting towards your end of your uh, your tour of duty in Korea, uh, and I know you mentioned quite a bit about Korea. Um, uh, is there any one thing that automatically comes to mind when you think about your tour of duty in Korea, or is it a, a composite of what you, what you already covered? I don't know if we did any good. Mm. Uh, were we fighting somebody? I guess so. Were we an army of occupation? Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, did we deter something from happening? Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The DMZ at night, it was, where we were, was 400 yards wide. Okay. It, it varied. Okay. But we could see them and they could see us. Mm -hmm. and, and we could yell at them and they'd yell at us okay. in guard towers. Okay. And then we had glasses too. But they play American music and they'd mm -hmm. tell us why were we there and you know, right. go home. And, Okay. Um, so I guess if if this and actually it was the United Nations forces. Mm -hmm. you know, everybody says U.S., but it's United Nations mm -hmm. forces. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if they weren't there at the time, uh, could the North Koreans with Chinese backing be aggressive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was the was South Korea susceptible to a mm -hmm. problem? Probably. Mm -hmm. okay. Today, I, I'm sure they can defend themselves. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you're asking, did we do any good or some high point of you know a mission or something? Mm -hmm. I was. I was okay. 20 years old and passing through. Right, yeah. right. I got you. Okay, so now we're at Oakland, uh, um, and you're... Yeah, we leave Korea. Right, you left yeah. Korea. Which right. was mm -hmm. tearful, which oh, was okay. tough. Yeah, Pardon? I really liked this person. Oh, okay. And the mama son. Mm -hmm. She was like my mother. Oh, okay. And that was bad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was not good. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, so... Uh, I don't even know if I have a picture or whatever. Uh, think about her. Uh, they just treated me nice. Okay. Treated me real nice. Could have mm -hmm. could have been worse. Uh, mm -hmm. If you wanted to, you know, be nasty to people, they treated you pretty nasty. These are hard people in the village. Mm -hmm. These are people who are there to take your money. Right. One way or the other, sell you mm -hmm. a suit, sell you booze, sell mm -hmm. you something. Mm -hmm. But these were nice people, mm -hmm. and it was.